Hi friends, in this video we will learn about the problem first that is related to Legendre's differential equation which are also known as equations are reducible to homogeneous form. So here I am just giving you one example in order to find out some solutions of problem number first. Yes, here is it a one problem that solve the differential equation it is given to you that having a some polynomial 3x plus 2 having square d2y by dx square minus 3 3x plus 2 dy by dx minus 36y is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1. So a second order differential equation is given to you which is a purely legendary form. Now the time to solve out this kind of a equation and first of all we will try to reduce this equation in the form of homogeneous. So if we know the complete methodology of homogeneous form so we can easily solve out this kind of equation. So let's see how we can perform how we can solve out this kind of equation. Let's see. So this equation first of all I will just mark as a equation number 1 to this equation which is start from here and uh, is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1. So my dear friends, first of all, we will substitute, we will consider uh, and I will just try to put a one value that is 3x plus 2 is equal to e raised to power something. 3x plus 2 is equal to e raised to power z. Okay. And by this you got a value of z, it will be z is equal to log of 3x plus 2. Am I right here? And other things you know very well that d by dz is what and x into d by dx is what? So the all values I am just going to replace here. So we know the value of this thing 3x plus 2 having whole square as we have done in the methodology of such kind of equations there we done this part like 3x plus 2 and d by dx is known as what? The capital D. But the coefficient of x you will be written here like x having coefficient is 3 so you have to write out 3 here. Similarly if you have 3x plus 2 and having whole square and second derivative is d2 by d of x square you have to write out d into d minus 1 okay. But the one more thing you have to write out d into d minus 1 so you have to write out the coefficient of x that is 3 so having 3 having square okay and as so on. But we have the equation that having got a 2. So there is no need to write out the all other values. So let's see. Let I'm just going to start now the question that just equation from first. So from first, I'm just going to reduce this equation in the form of z. Let's see. So 3x plus 2 having whole square d2y upon dx square is what? 3x plus 2 having whole square d2y upon dx square is what? 3 square d into d minus 1. So I can write out the value of this part 3 square and d into d minus 1 right here and then minus 3 will be remain same and 3x plus 2 dy by dx it is 3d so a 1 3 is there and 3d and minus 36 and here you will write out y is equal to this form the point is that there you have some value that is 3 of x square 4 of x and plus 1 so this complete equation is reduced to z form. So what we can do here? Now see, if you have a 3x plus 2 is equal to e raised to power z. So I can find the value from this relation of x like that. See guys, if you have 3x plus 2 and is equal to e raised to power z, so I can write out 3x is equal to e raised to power z and minus 2. And also I can write out x is equal to e raised to power z minus 2 divided by 3. Am I right here? So this value I can use in my equation number 1. And in this equation first of all you have 3x square. That means first of all I need to write out 3x square. What is the value of x? That is e raised to power z minus 2 and divided by 3 and having whole square. And minus 4 of x. And that is e raised to power z minus 2 divided by 3 and plus 1. So this is your reduced, the first equation I have just reduced in the form of z and that is your required equation now. So what we can do now, see, this 3 square having with this only, not only the complete equation. 
so let's see now this equation can be reduced as 3 3 are 9 into d square and minus d and minus 9 only with this factor and 3 3 are 9 into d and minus 36 now having y and is equal to all this complete portion you can write out so 3 will be remain same and 3 3 is a 9 i can write out here and here you got a e raised to power z minus 2 and having whole square and minus 4 by 3 3 is a 9 and e raised to power z minus 2 and plus 1 clear here you got 9 and d square and minus 9 into d again you can write out minus 9 into d and minus 36 and having y and equal to it the part will remain same so let's see the one more step we can perform here 9d square minus of 18d and minus 36 and having y and equal to part will remain same clear no problem at all fine so let's see guys now the point a time to find out auxiliary equation first of all so now i'm just framing one equation that is known as auxiliary equation first of all i think we can take a 9 is a common element from this equation so let me take a common that is 9 so as i'm taking 9 is common so your required equation will be d square and minus 2 of d and plus 4 and is equal to let me go back is equal to what 3 by 9 e raised to power z minus 2 and having whole square so 3 by 9 means what 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 and y will be there and e raised to power z minus 2 and having whole square and plus that was there minus 4 by 9 and plus 1 minus 4 by 9 a e z raised to power minus 2 and plus 1 clear one more step i'm just performing here because uh, this complete part d square minus 2 d is plus 4 it is complete square of d minus 2 am i right and having y is equal to so here you can open the square of these terms first of all it will become e raised to power 2z and plus 4 and minus 2 e raised to, to the 4 sorry 2 4 e raised to power z yeah and minus 4 by 9 will be there and here you got a e raised to power z and plus 4 to the 8 by 9 and plus 1 this is your complete formation so here you got a one equation now that is in the form of 9 and d minus 2 and having whole square so i don't think so that we have any other form of reduction for this equation so here i'm just 9 and d minus 2 having whole square and y i will remain same this equation 1 by 3 and uh, this things e raised to power 2 z plus 4 and minus 4 e raised to power z so if you are trying to solve out these complete equations you will see which things will be possible like here you can see 1 by 3 and minus 4 by 3 okay so 1 by 3 and minus 4 by 3 and here you got a one result that is minus 4 by 9 and e raised to power z so if you are trying to solve out these complete equations you got a complete result and that will be 1 by 3 e raised to power 2z and minus 1 by 3 you will try to solve out this part okay now you have this equation and i am just framing this equation as a number 2 so this is my second equation now time to find out auxiliary equation so what is auxiliary equation my dear friend here auxiliary equations is always that part this is 9 and d minus 2 and having whole square is equal to g by this equation i can find out value of a d so this 9 will be go and it will become 0 so here you got a d is equal to 2 as well as 2 so here you got a result of d that will be 2 and 2 Am I right here these are 2 and 2 repeating results so now the complementary functions we can find out 
that will become c1 and plus x c2 e raised to power 2z i hope so that everybody remember the method of equal roots if you got so complementary functions would be like that if you got a equal roots that are imaginary so the uh, that is the other form of a complementary functions but now according to our result it is our complementary function now to find out pa now to find out pa so how we can calculate pa my dear friends as we know that in order to find out pa again you have to write out 1 by fd and fd is what that is 9 and d minus 2 and having whole square into that is equal part that is 1 by 3 e raised to power 2z and minus 1 by 3 e raised to power sorry you can write out this clear so now it is easy quite easy to find out pi because the rule of e everybody knows if you got an e raised to power something so you directly replace the d is equal to a a is means what 2 so for the first part you can write out d is equal to 2 and the for second part you have 1 by 3 only so here is 1 by 3 so you can assume that there is a e raised to power 0 something because e raised to power 0 is 1 so you can assume so you can replace d is equal to 0 both of results you have so it will become i'm talking about pa 1 by 9 and d minus 2 having whole square and e raised to power 2 of z and minus is 1 by 3 here i'm just writing 1 by 3 is there again minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 9 and 1 by d minus 2 and having whole square and e raised to power what e raised to power g as 1 by 3 is there so i just replace so now my dear friends here in this part you can substitute d is equal to 2 and in this part you can easily substitute d is equal to g clear so let's see the first part will becomes uh, 1 by 27 as 1 by d minus 2 and having whole square and here you have to write out e raised to power 2 and minus 1 by 27 and 1 by d minus 2 and here you have e raised to power 0 so as i told you that first of all you need to write out d is equal to 2 here and d is equal to 0 for this part d is equal to 2 in this part and d is equal to 0 in this part so as you will replace d is equal to 2 so you got what it will becomes 1 by 0 form okay it is known as case of a failure and i told you in the time of case of failure what you can do you can again start from this part and here you have to perform a one derivative so i'm just performing one derivative and 1 by 27 will be there and if you are performing single derivatives you need to write out x but now we have equation in the form of z so i will write out z here and i will perform the derivative it will become 2 into d minus 2 am i right here and e raised to power 2z now minus 1 by 27 and here you will wrap, replace d is equal to 0 so it will becomes minus 1 by 2 clear yeah. now my dear friends let's see in this part again you have to replace d is equal to 2 but if you replace d is equal to 2 again this will becomes what it will becomes 1 by 0 form means it again it will gives you case of failure all right but in the case of failure you can apply again the approach of derivative so in that case you got what 27 to the 154 here and above you will write out z square single time z single time derivative double time z so double time derivative so it will give d minus 2 will give derivative 1 only and here you would write out e raised to power 2z and here you got a minus minus plus and 1 by 54 so the complete result of pi you got that pi is equal to 1 by 54 will common and here you got a z square e raised to power 2z and plus 1 this is your required pi and my dear friends the complete solution you know very well that it is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so 
complementary functions you have pi you have but you need to take care about that you have to find out result in the form of x only means even you got a z so you have to replace the value of z so let's go back and let's see that what we have replaced in the part of z as we have assumed that x is equal to what so let's see so here you can see we replaced 3x plus 2 is equal to e raised to power z and what was the value of x e raised to power z minus 2 by 3 easily i can replace now see my dear friends by this pi i am just replacing the value of z so your pi will be like 1 by 54 remains same and what is the value of z here you have got a z here so z is equal to what that was log of 3x plus 2 and having whole square all right value of z and what is the value of e raised to power z that was 3x plus 2 so it was e raised to power 2z so you can write out square and you got a plus 7 okay this is your result this is your pa actually not a complete result so i'm just giving you a one method that how you can replace at the end the value of z in the form of x in the form of complete solution you have to write out your result in the form of x only okay because we assume that x in the form of z so we sold out some equations and at the end you again replace the value of z in the form of x so this was the problem number first of uh, legendary homogeneous linear differential equation so thank you so much for watching